Look Outreach is underwritten by the generous support of Munter Enterprises. Family owned and operated since 1972, integrity is important as our family name is on every project. Our word is our bond. Munter Enterprises. Just build it. Welcome back, everyone. Well, as any runner will tell you, any swimmer, for that matter of fact, that those sports, there's something very special about those sports. It's one-on-one -on -one with nature. And of course, there's one other sport that's very much like that as well, and that's cycling. The idea that it's you and whatever challenge you set up for yourself is between you and yourself. And for over 50 years, or close to 50 years, the Mohawk Hudson Cycling Club has really just been the kind of club that engages the community, invites members to participate in what I just said. And joining me today is Dave Krause, who's with the club. Welcome, Dave. Hi. Good very, to be here. Oh, very nice to have you here. Um, there is something special about runners, swimmers, and cyclists, right? Yeah, there, there is, really. Um, it, it gets you out in nature. Yeah. Um, it gives you control over what you're doing. It lets you meet some great people. Uh, yeah. And it lets you decide how, how involved you're going to get. Yeah, you know, if you decide to just casually go for a ride, you can go for a ride. You want to challenge, you want to attack a hill, you can attack a hill. Mm -hmm. And then when you get to, like you were telling me before, when you get to the top of the hill. That victory is yours. You don't yeah. have to share it with anyone. There's, <laughs> there's no permits. There's no uh, team meetings. Yeah, you don't have to answer to the boss. <laughs> That's correct. <laughs> well, maybe you do. Maybe the, the ultimate boss you're answering you're, to. You're your yeah, own yeah. boss. Exactly right. Um, for uh, Since the 80s or so, a uh, very interesting event in the fall, mm -hmm. uh, the Century run uh, Ride. Uh, it's happening again the weekend of 9-10 right here in Saratoga. It starts in the State Park, doesn't it? That's right. Well, tell, 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 us about, tell us about the event. Uh, it's our big event of the year, uh, weekend after Labor Day. Uh, we have four different routes out on the roads around Saratoga County. Mm -hmm. There's a 25-mile, 50-mile 62 mile, which we also call a metric century because it's 100 kilometers. Yes, right. And then the ultimate, if you really want to challenge yourself, there's a 100 mile route, which is the actual century. We also have a seven mile family ride that goes around Spa Park mm -hmm. uh, that's great for families if you want to get out with your kids. You know, there's an underlying theme here, which I think you're probably picking up on. Um, you're kind of taking the competitiveness out of this. Right? You have a choice. If you want to do 25, you want to do 50, you want to do 100 kilometers, you want to do 100 miles, the choice is yours. Right? It's, so, it's up it, to or you. Or the seven mile family one, it's up to you. It's up to you. Right. And we have the same routes both days, both Saturday and Sunday. Yes. Uh, so you have the ability to choose which one you want to do. If you want to ride 200 miles, then mm -hmm. this is your chance. Uh, if it's a guy like me, you probably want to do the 100 miles over two days. Uh, <laughs> maybe. So you could probably do that. Maybe. Too, right? uh, you know what's interesting about the race also? You take the competitiveness out of it. That changes the mood, right? It definitely changes the mood. But also uh, knowing that anywhere along the route that you've got the support. Uh, and that, that's important for, for people to know. What kind of support is there along the route? Well, we have uh, rest areas at regular intervals along the routes that have food and water. Mm -hmm. We also have mechanical support That's out important. on the road if yeah. you need it. Uh, we're very grateful to two area bike stores, uh, the Down Tube in Albany oh, sure. and the Savile Road mm -hmm. Bikes in Del Mar. Uh, we also have uh, SAG support, uh, which is if you can't quite finish and you right. need a ride back to the, the start line, you've got it. So. If you do want to challenge yourself and try to extend yourself, this is, uh, this is a good way to do it, knowing that you have some backup if you need it. Yeah, you know, I think that's very important. I, you know, I see, um, I see riders on the lake roads a lot, uh, and I often think to myself, you know, with the challenges of some of those hills and some of those roads and everything else, you know, you break down, you're in trouble, you're in the middle of nowhere. And it's nice to know that you've got the support along the way, including a ride back, because let's face it, every once in a while, something can happen and you're just like, you know what, I, I think I better head back. <laughs> Sometimes something breaks and you can't fix it. Yeah, you exactly no right. Um, now, when you get back, one can assume you're fairly exhausted. You're probably pretty hungry. Anything going on? Well, we have uh, a catered meal, a uh, catered picnic mm -hmm. after the ride on both days by Creative Catering. Oh, nice. Um, hot buffet, a uh, variety of other foods. So when you do get back, uh, you've got a way to refuel. Mm -hmm. uh, you know what? I, just a, uh, a personal question. And I ask this of a lot of athletes. 
what is it about cycling that attracts you personally? What do you like about it? Um, it's great exercise, first of all. It's yes. low impact. Yes, right. I used to be a runner, uh, mm -hmm. had some knee problems, and it provided a great alternative. Um, it's also very simple. Um, when I get there, out there on the road and I climb that hill, it's just me in the hill. Mm -hmm. um, there's nobody else involved. Uh, it's also a great feeling to know that I'm moving along in nature and I'm the engine. I'm the motor. Yeah, right, right. You know, we live in such a complex world and when you break it down like that, it's deceptively simple, but it is just that one-on-one -on -one feeling, right? Mm -hmm. So look, uh, you're a casual cyclist. Uh, come on, join in. Want to bring your family? Bring your family. There's a seven-mile family run. If you're serious, 100 miles for you. But uh, overall, September 9 and 10 starts at the State Park. There's a website. Get the information. It's bikereg.com. Let me spell it for you. B-I-K-E-R-E-G, like bikeregistration.com. And you can find out all the information there. Uh, Mohawk Hudson Cycling Club is, is the club. And uh, with over 600 members, I think that that probably is a testament to that as well. But uh, and a beautiful weekend. That weekend, for some reason, is always a great weekend, that 9-10 weekend, isn't it? We almost always have great weather for Century Weekend. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Well, Dave, real pleasure to meet you. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me. And don't forget, uh, September 9 and 10 starts in the Spa State Park. You have the uh, web address. Participate. It's quite an event. Thanks. To see this interview again, you can head to our website, looktvonline.com.